sky and I'm trying out this Halloween makeup look if you like it or want to attempt to try it with me um just stick along okay so today I'm going to be trying to do something like that and since she has like a normal base I'm going to just do my makeup how I want to do it so using the ALF Halo Glow Liquid Filter I'm going to show you that is way too dark for me but We just want the glowing aspect of it. Nothing else. I'm gonna be using just a brush to blend it. Blend it all in. See all that glow? This is more skeleton. I'm gonna try using a lighter foundation because I am a little bit lighter. I'm using the True Skin by Catrice in Cool Cashmere or Tin. Just a big beauty blender. Pull over the face. I've yet to try this one with the Elf Halo Glow. So we will see how it kind of sits on the face with it. I just go ahead and set the face where I need to set it. And then I'll use, I'll do the eyes and then continue on. So I'm just going to use some powder, sit under my eyes, forehead, and my nose. So I've set the areas that I need to, now I'm going to do the eyes. I'm using my Morphe 35F Fall Into Frost. Cannot find this palette anywhere. I've tried looking, I can't find it, but it has a black that we'll need. So, and actually, I'm going to start with a blue brush and go into the brown shades just to come off. After I have all the brown, browny red on, I'm gonna use this brush to kind of place the black. I'm just going to focus on the eyelid and then I'll fluff it over. Ooh, that looks scary. Now I'm just going to use that brown, brownie red color to kind of fuse it out. bottom of the eyes I'm using a dense kind of thin brush to smoke it out on the bottom using that black Smoke 
smoke it. And I'll just use the full food brush. Pour it again and diffuse it. Now just to go under the eye and fluff out that black. I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows. So that is the end of the nose. As you can see, I just did the top points. Use both this kind of brush and an eyebrow brush to get the nice sharp edges. And I also had to go kind of far on my nose because of the way it's shaped to kind of get that effect of that actually being my nose and not my actual nose. So for now, do the jawline. So, so I don't mess it up, I'm going to be using this brush with my regular putty bronzer just to kind of map out where I want it. So 
kind of there. I'm gonna sit on this side. Are even on this. I need to come out farther. That looks a bit more even. So now you can kind of see sharp and then it kind of, well, you kind of can't see this one. It comes down. Same thing, this and the lines. So start kind of far back. Again, I'm just using this as a mark. I can always blend this in.
So I finally finished up the contouring part. It really looks better from the front than it does the sides, that for sure. I'm gonna add just a little bit more eyeshadow under the eyes in that ready color. Just to kind of darken it up. I know it's not exactly perfect, but how do y'all think I did? I'll show you the picture again. I definitely could have made it less perfect. sharp. And again, I was just trying my best. Do you look the same? I know we don't, but I tried my hardest. I wanted it to look a little bit more darker, but it could be a simple way for you to just kind of put, put together on Halloween. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe down below if you want to, and I'll see you next time.